Well, hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, just real quick, I was um, just out doing my errands and stuff and Jesus put this in my heart today. There's a lot of deception out there, a lot of deception. So guys, always make sure you go to the Holy Spirit for truth. Do not rely on your own understanding of scripture. Always ask Jesus. Um, you know, he's been talking to me a lot since December 30th and the stuff that he's revealing to me is absolutely amazing and I'll be honest a lot of it goes over my head and I'm just being obedient and, and um, speaking his words um, but I will tell you one of the things that he just put on my heart and I'm at the drive-thru for anyone who thinks I'm driving um, a chicken club sounded good today <laughs> but for anyone who is listening to other prophets out there okay so he put this on my heart these are the things you need to look for, okay? Do they claim that Jesus Christ came to earth in the man as a man in the flesh and died on the cross and rose on the third day or three days later, however they say it? Basically, that goes to 1 John, um, I think it's 4, 1 John 4. I need to order my food, hold on a second. <laughs> Hi. Can I have um, two grilled chicken clubs? With, Say that again, I'm sorry. Can I have um, your two grilled chicken clubs with um, honey mustard on both of them? With the, with the fries, the meal? All right, anything else? Yeah, does it come with a salad or no? It does not. Okay, nope, that's all then. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so what I wanted to say was if they're claiming that, but in every single message that Jesus gives me, guys, he's always showing the people his true gospel. Okay. He's never giving me a message of just wrath. He loves everybody and he does not want anyone to perish. So if you guys are listening to prophets out there that are claiming they're from Jesus, I want you to make sure you look for those things because if there's not a way for you to know how to get to Jesus and to be saved through forgiveness, it's not him. It's not him because he is not going to give you a message of just wrath. He does not want anyone to perish. And, um, you know, I, I, he put it on my heart strongly to get this out because he told me that there's going to be many people popping up and saying they're from Jesus and, and hearing their word, um, you know, saying his words and speaking in his name. But those are the two, um, things that you have to look for because the spirit of antichrist is not going to claim that he came to earth in the flesh and died on the cross and, and shed his blood. They're not going to claim that. And they're not going to talk about how getting you to the gospel, the good news. They're not going to talk about um, believing in Jesus and repentance. You know, so the messages he gives me tells me those things. And then today I'm just sitting here in line, you know, getting my food. And uh, he put that on my heart. So guys, you know, there's so much deception out there and, and Jesus saves, she's been talking a lot about, um, people messing up the constellations and the, the order of the Maseroth and, and calling, um, you know, Jesus, the Taurus or whatever. There's a lot of deception out there. And like I said, the whole Maseroth and the, the constellations of astronomy goes over my head. Um, <laughs> actually a lot of it goes over my head. <laughs> But I'm just going to continue to be obedient because I love Jesus so much. And when when you truly love the Father, you, you want to please Him. You know, He is like your number one in life. You, you want to give up everything for Him if you have to. And um, I know I hit um, the nail hard um, on my last couple messages because Satan or his witches or whatever have really, like, I mean, I had crazy nine emails that just had uh, so many curse words, you know, at me. Um, <laughs> so I, I definitely uh, am foiling the enemy's plans or telling 
the enemy's plans and they don't like that, you know, so because their whole thing is they, they want to deceive you and they don't want anyone to to believe in Jesus and believe he's real, which is why they've changed everything. And I'm still praying on this movie, The Prodigal Son, A Journey from the Stars. I feel like maybe this week, you know, maybe tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, I don't know. So let's just let's just keep looking for it because it, it has to be soon because, um, you know, he said it soon. So I don't know what soon means to God, but I feel like the rapture is, you know, right around the corner. And for the ones that say, you know, Jesus's words, you know, you have to understand in the Bible, they're talking to more than one person, okay? They're talking to the Jews on a lot of scriptures. They're talking to the bride on a lot of scriptures. And they're talking about the martyrs, guys. There's different groups. And it all depends on where you wanna be with Jesus. I mean, do you truly 100% trust in him? If you truly 100% trust in him and you're not lukewarm and you're not basing it on your own works and there's no doubt that he's died for you and he's going to save you, you are in the Philadelphia church, okay? And the Philadelphia church is his bride. Guys, Jesus is not going to send his bride to get murdered and go through the great tribulation. He's not. And and whether you are pre-trib or post-trib or, or, or mid-trib, ask the Holy Spirit for understanding and don't don't fight the pre-tribbers you know we're not doing it because we we want to get out of something you know if I have to die for Jesus I would die for Jesus because I love him that much but I know my Lord okay and he loves us and we have already gone through things because we've endured to the end by not worshiping the devil and Guys, you know, with all the deception and all the craziness out there in the world, um, the fact that you're still, all the hardships, you're still truly following Jesus is a reward in itself. Okay, so ask the Holy Spirit for understanding and just realize that they've changed so much in our world that um, it's hard to decipher what's true and what's not. So without the Spirit and the understanding of Jesus Christ, you guys, you're never going to understand. You cannot understand based on your own own reading and your own thoughts. Because his thoughts are way greater than our thoughts could ever be. I mean, for example, I mean, the last two messages he gave me, those are so far over my head. I don't even know what I'm saying or any of what those words mean because he hasn't revealed that to me. He didn't give me words of knowledge. That's not my gift. You know, he gave me prophecy. Um, um, he sometimes gives me dreams. You know, I'm not a vision person. I did have that one vision of my, my dad being taken away before he died. You know, that was one gift he gave me, but I'm not really a vision person. So, you know, and sometimes he just gives people um, the power to share the gospel or um, caring for one another. It doesn't mean because you don't have the same gift as your neighbor, you're not special because you are. He designed everyone a certain way and he gives them their certain gifts that they're supposed to have. So when the Lord gives you something, just thank him for it and, and you're blessed. You don't have to match your neighbor, okay? So um, anyway, guys, always take everything to Jesus and I had to get this out because like I said I'm obedient and the Lord put it on my heart so um all right well have a blessed day if you don't know Jesus ask him to come into your life um ask him to forgive you for your sins because he will if you believe in him with y'all all, all your heart and you confess he's Lord he will save you guys like I said he loves you and he does not want anyone to perish okay have a blessed day